All right, we're back. I just placed the uh, I just placed the turkey on the smoker. Uh, let me raise the lid here and show it to you. Now, I just placed this thing um, right on the grate, uh, breast side up. A lot. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on that. I don't want it to. Uh, I don't want to lose too much heat. Uh, a lot of times I'll put that thing breast side down for about the first hour just to uh, just to give that breast uh, time to do a little bit of cooking before I flip it over for the rest of the time but I'm, I actually put it breast side up this time which is okay I do it I, you know I experiment with different ways of doing it but uh, anyway this is like I said it's about a 12 and a half pound turkey uh, at 30 minutes per pound we're gonna be looking at probably uh, right around six hours probably gonna be a little over six just depending on how close I hold my temperature. Uh, we're sitting at about 250 right now. That's not bad. Um, a lot For a lot of meats that I smoke, I, I shoot for 225, 240. Uh, poultry really does not benefit from the from the low heat. Uh, the, only, the only purpose for the low heat on poultry, such as turkey, chicken, that sort of thing, is to allow it to smoke, allow it to cook slow enough so that smoke has time to really affect the meat. And so, uh, I'm going to try to hold about 250 and uh, see how that goes and uh, we'll have some good some, some good long time in the smoke and uh, we're going to end up with a good taste of turkey. So we'll check back here in a little bit and see what it's looking like and uh, just stick around and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Alright, we're back and uh, we the turkey's been in the smoke for uh, just a little over two hours and uh, it's looking real good. We're running about 220 uh, right now. I just uh, opened the lid a few seconds ago, just for a second, so the temperature dropped just a, just a slight bit. Um, I am going to remove the lid here just in a second to uh, to show you what it looks like. Um, I've actually went ahead and put a thermometer in it just uh, shortly after I put the turkey on, because I want to make sure that I know what the temperature inside that breast is. Uh, we're looking at about 132 degrees right now, so that's real good. Uh, that's just about perfect. And uh, so, uh, anyway, I did want to say, if you're having trouble with this Brinkman, if you're having trouble uh, getting it up to the temperature, you might want to consider uh, just barely putting a little bit of water in the water pan. Some people just fill that water pan up, and what happens when you do that is it blocks a lot of that heat. A lot of those BTUs are going toward heating that water instead of uh, uh, actually becoming heat that surrounds the turkey and cooks and smokes the turkey. So uh, what I've actually done, I've got probably probably a half inch of water in my uh, water pan right now and uh, uh, if earlier I had actually more than that and the temperature started dropping so I've let it cook down a little bit and I haven't added any more. So, uh, these Brinkman water smokers are good smokers, but they, they require quite a bit of uh, piddling to get you know to get them uh, to do what you want them to do. Um, there are other smokers that are that are much better, but for someone starting out, you, I'm just trying to prove that you can you can use these. They're they're cheap smokers, but you can use them. You can produce some good food on them. And uh, today we're going to produce a really good turkey on one of these, but it's just take it's it's taking some work, and uh, we're not able to walk away to, for for too awful long from this from the smoker because uh, we're constantly having to add wood chips and and we're constantly having to to check it and make sure everything's okay and add water if it needs it so if you're looking for uh, if you're looking for something that's a little more hands-off uh, there's nothing wrong with looking into a gas smoker or an electric smoker uh, there's lots of good ones out there on the market and I've got some of that information on my website but uh, anyway, let's take this lid off and take a look at this turkey and uh, give you a quick glance at what it looks like. I don't want to leave the lid off very long because I'll lose all my heat. But uh, I'll give you a quick glance at it and uh, then we'll come back and check on it towards the end and uh, see what it looks like. There we go. Looking real nice. I do want to say really quick, uh, the wings, see how the wings are starting to look a little, uh, they're starting to brown up. Uh, if those get to the brownness that you like, you can actually cover those with foil and, uh, and keep them from browning any further. So uh, something I normally do toward the end of the smoke time, three, four hours in, 
I'll actually take some small pieces of foil and uh, wrap those wings up. And because uh, those tend to brown a little quicker than, the, say, the thighs and the breast meat and all that, so or the, the skin on the breast and the, and the thighs. Um, but anyway, that's our turkey, and we're looking good. And uh, we'll check back once again toward the end of the smoke time, and I'll show you what it looks like.